Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 14th. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? So, we're just going to see what comes up. So what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity, right? Somebody has manifested something. This is a new investment. This is something that you, you maybe somebody could be getting a gift or they could there could be a new purchase. There is something that is tangible that is coming. That means that it's something that you can hold on to, something that you can keep. Somebody is about to gain something. Uh, yeah, they're about to gain something. It's something real. It's a gift. It's solid. It's stable. It's real. It's what you asked for. It's something that you manifested. That's a yes answer as well. This is a golden opportunity that leads to stability. Okay, this leads to stability. This is a gift. Okay, it's a gift. It's a huge gift. So it's basically a gift of security. Three of Swords reversed. That's leaving the past hurts behind. So somebody is on the road to recovery. They're going to be receiving something that they asked for. Um, focusing on the future with the Three of Swords reversed. Somebody has been suffering. They've been in some sort of pain. I feel like the storm is passing, right? The storm is passing and things are going to get better because that Ace of Pentacles is very positive energy leaving behind the pain with the three of swords reversed it's leaving it behind uh, this is the gift of security and stability so somebody is receiving something real and solid hmm. oh we got two King of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So the King of Swords is very intellectual, given to just do something, make a decision, a very decisive individual. Somebody is making a decision. Um, they're going to be investing in something. They've been thinking about it. Um, I feel like the decision is made. They, they're going to invest. Or is it worth it? Is it worth investing in this? And maybe that's what they're thinking about. Um, but very decisive very very intelligent so somebody is making a well uh, thought out decision this is something this person has thought about it they're making a decision whether they should invest in something or not is it worth it what should I do that's the question here should I should I do this or should I do that What's going to be the best combination? How can I do this? Hmm. This King of Swords, it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. Whoever this person is, this person is very intelligent. This is somebody that... Uh, has some is about to has some sort of idea right has some sort of idea uh, they have some sort of notion maybe they've gotten some sort of clarity or something they've or they've gotten some information now they have to make a decision is this worth it what should i do this is about an investment will this work out will it work out the answer is yes because of the Ace of Pentacles.
Queen of Pentacles reversed. So the Queen of Pentacles reversed is a person that is unstable, insecure, lazy, possessive, jealous, uh, money hungry, or doesn't have any money. It could go either way. Ungrounded, greedy, selfish. We have so a very greedy, selfish individual here. Is it worth investing in this person that is greedy and selfish? Somebody is going to be uh, challenged as well. I feel like we have somebody is, that is going to be challenged. This person is putting somebody on the spot. They're going to be questioning them. Maybe they're going to be questioning them about uh, you know where they're giving their money, where they're spending their money. Could have something to do with money with the Ace of Pentacles reverse. I mean upright. The King of Swords is very questionable. So somebody may be questioned about where they're spending their money or what they're doing with their money or or if they're engaging with somebody that is greedy and selfish, are they making the right decision because of that Seven of Pentacles? Is it, is it, is it the right decision to give the money to this individual who is lazy and doesn't deserve it? You know, maybe that's the question. Maybe that's the question. Um, Ace of Pentacles. This is a question about money. It is it's a question about stability and security. It could have something to do with an inheritance, could have something to do with a um, business. Um, is it is it really practical? Is it is it practical? Is it, is it the wisest decision? Is it the wisest decision? So I think that somebody is going to is either questioning themselves about a person that they're dealing with that that doesn't have any money or that is greedy and selfish or they're que or they're questioning another person. They may be putting somebody on the spot and saying, "Hey, are you are you making the wisest decision? Are you making the smartest decision? You know, financially, is this the smartest decision?" I mean, that's what it looks like to me. I wonder if we have somebody here that has, you know, has a greedy stepmother or a greedy, you know, mother-in-law that is trying to steal the money. Four of Swords reversed. So there's a, I wonder, there's something to do. You know, I may have something. Oh, it's Five of Swords reversed. Five of Swords reversed. Three of Swords, Three of Swords reversed. Leaving the past hurts behind. Moving forward. Five of Swords reversed. We have somebody here that has no moral conscience. This is a hostile situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So five of swords reversed. Five. I don't care who I hurt. I don't care who I hurt. So I think that we have somebody here that is very uh, self-centered. We have somebody here that is very self-centered that doesn't care who they hurt as long as they win, as long as they get the money. I don't know whose message that is for, but anyway, five of swords reversed could be somebody that is um, going in a different direction. There's been some sort of betrayal. It's the ultimate betrayal. This is somebody that it's just like, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. It's like on somebody's deathbed or something like that. That's what it looks like here. A five of swords reversed. A need to let go of ego. We have somebody here who is very egotistical. They don't care who they hurt. They are greedy, selfish. And I feel like this person is going to be, or somebody is going to be put on the spot. Hmm. 
Queen of Cups could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have the star reversed on the bottom that is depleted. We have somebody here that is depleted. Their health may be declining. Um, there's, there's, uh, why is this happening with a star reverse? This is, why is this happening? Something is happening. Something is happening. We have an individual that um, is probably going to be told. They're going to be told something. They're going to be told. They're going to be told. With the, the King of Swords is very authentic. This is somebody that comes forward and tells somebody something. Maybe, maybe they say, you know, this isn't practical. It's not realistic. You know, with the Seven of Wands, uh, Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. That's unrealistic. There's no financial stability here. There's, or you're unwilling to give. You're selfish. You're greedy. You know, you're not. This is somebody that isn't very giving. That isn't very motherly that doesn't really even care about the children, may not like the children, may not like the partner's children. Um, we have somebody here that is thinking about whether they should continue to invest in this energy where, you know, they're not getting taken care of. They're not getting taken care of in a motherly way or and they're not getting taken care of in a financial aspect as well because this person has no desire to focus on love all they care about is the money all they care about is the money anyhow there is going to be an expression there's going to be an expression of feelings somebody's going to be expressing their feelings and i feel like we have somebody here this queen of cups is dumping out the cup so she's throwing it away. She's not interested in love. All she's interested in money. All she's interested in is money. So we have a we have a female or feminine that is she all she's interested in. When you're dumping out the cup, the cup is supposed to be full of love, not empty. Not empty. So somebody is somebody is dumping out. They're not interested. They're not interested in love. They're only interested in the money. And I think that we have a king here. It doesn't matter what sign you are. We have a king here that is, and it is a masculine. It is a masculine energy because air is masculine. We do have a, we have a king here that is making a decision as to should I continue to invest in this greedy bitch? You know, should I? Should I continue to invest in this? You know, if there's no love here, there ain't no love. Because if the Queen of Cups is pouring out the, the, the love, I mean, come on now. She's pouring out the cup. She's pouring, out, pouring the love. She's emptying it. She's emptying the cup. She doesn't, somebody doesn't care who they hurt. They don't care who they hurt as long as they, the money lands in their hand. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Questionable. Questioning questioning somebody is questioning whether they should continue to invest in this obviously it's a loveless situation and emotions are all over the place okay this is no not grounded okay it's not practical it's not realistic there's no it's like a very emotional okay there's no grounding here okay so there's a need to be practical and realistic and be logical and this person is thinking about it they're thinking about their future they are, they're thinking about, you know, what is the, gonna be the best combination? What is gonna be the best mix for me? Where should I invest? So I do believe that there could be a relocation in the future. Somebody could be relocating. Mm. Walking away from this individual that obviously the cup is empty. Three of Wands reversed. Now the Three of Wands reversed is 
a setback, it's a delay. We have somebody here that is stuck, okay? They're stuck, they keep on um, staying put. They keep staying put in their current situation. They're struggling with, with change. Refusing to focus on the future. Refusing to uh, see that there are other opportunities and they're wasting time. We have somebody here that is wasting time with the Three of Wands reversed. They're wasting it. They're, they are, uh, it's like they're waiting in vain. Three of Wands reversed is waiting. And then the, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, that's vain. That's waiting in vain, waiting in vain, waiting in vain for somebody to love them that doesn't have any love to offer, or has no intention of giving love. You need to be logical here. You need to make a logical decision, you know, based on the facts, based on the truth. Should you really be investing in something because you're obsessed? And maybe we have somebody here that is obsessed, you know. There's a golden opportunity in the palm of your hand. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. Four of Swords on the bottom. Four of Swords is the death of a situation. It's the death of an idea or person. Okay? It is. This is tired, exhausted, sick, frustrated. Reach the end. This is like that deathbed. Did I say that? If I didn't say it, I was thinking it. I mean, that, that's the thing. You want to die in this situation? I mean, you have to be practical. You got to be logical here. You need to make an informed decision based on the facts, based on the truth. Somebody's going to be questioned. They are going to be questioned. It could be somebody here that has some mental illness. They may have some mental illness. They may need, they may need hospitalization. You know, it might not be mental illness. We could have heart problems here. Somebody could, I mean, we could, but the Three of Swords, you may have somebody ends up in the hospital because of heart problems. Um, and they get some challenging information. You know, there's unstable here. We have somebody here that is very unstable. Just saying. Um, challenging information is coming. It is. Unprepared. Somebody is unprepared. They're unprepared to, for this information that is coming. And I feel like they're going to be like, why, why, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why now? And I think it's because whoever is giving the information is telling the truth. You know, they're telling the truth. Maybe they're maybe they're no longer in love with somebody. That could be the truth. I mean, we have somebody here that's like, a, no, this isn't love or it's not practical. You know, there's there's no stability here and I want stability. You know, I want financial stability. You know, I, I, so I think we have somebody here that is, is really thinking about what is the best investment for them. And I feel like they're going to take a new an investment. They are now because the opportunity is right here. It's right, 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 right here. It's like right here, okay? The opportunity is right here. So it's like you take it or you lose it. You know, you take it now. You take the opportunity or you lose it right now. You lose it. So, you know, I feel like we have an individual that um, is making a very tough decision, you know? And I feel like they're going to be telling somebody something because... The King of Swords speaks, okay? This is not somebody who holds back. Yes, this person thinks about it, but once they've come up with their conclusion, they speak it, okay? So this is somebody that speaks the truth. They've thought about it. They, they see it very clearly, and they speak the truth, okay? They just let it out. So somebody's going to be telling somebody something, and this person, is whoever it is that they're talking to, is going to probably... Uh, throw a fit with that five of swords. I feel like we have somebody here that is going to throw a fit. They may even throw a tantrum. That's what I see. They may throw a tantrum. They may um, say some really, really, really mean things. Um, Eight of Pentacles.
Roles reversed. That's giving up. Giving up. Somebody's giving up. It's not working out. It's not working out. They are. They're giving up on something. They're not going to be putting in effort because this isn't practical. Okay, there's there's no love here. So somebody is giving up. They are. They're giving up. They're, they're done. They're done. They've wasted a lot of time. And I feel like they've lost money wasting time. Somebody has lost money wasting time, you know, staying put in this situation. I think there's travel, or there's a change in uh, travel, uh, maybe even to a, a distance, you know, distance travel that is coming. Somebody is making a decision. They have lost some sort of love. They have lost some sort of love. They have with an individual that is so focused on money. This person is so money hungry. And they don't even work or they or they don't or they don't want to give their money. They don't they don't share their money. They don't share the resources or they fight over money all the time. Perhaps it's time to plant the seed someplace else. And that's what I think this is with the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding to, they've thought about it a lot, I believe. They've thought about it and they've just, they're deciding, you know what, I need, to, I need to plant my seed someplace else where it's going to grow. Because whoever they've been dealing with has definitely not been nurturing the situation. There's no love. There's no love. I mean, you get the Queen of Cups pouring the cup out, emptying out the cup. It's like, come on now. There's no love. I mean, there's no love there. There's, there's no passion either. There's no passion. There's no desire. This is going south, okay? It's going south. This is not coming to fruition. Somebody has been weighed down. This is the fire going out, right? The passion... The passion going away or the passion is gone, right? But there's a golden opportunity right here. There is. But you have to focus on the future and not look back. So I, I do believe that we have somebody here that is going to be taking an opportunity to question somebody about their financial about their their sharing of money or about their financial future about their heart as well you know there, there's going to be questions i think there's going to be questions somebody's going to start questioning somebody um i don't know if this has to do with it in here it's like something you've worked for your whole life you know because of this that's what it feels like to me interesting somebody has invested in a lot into somebody that is very selfish and that sucks anyway three of wands reversed unprepared lack of foresight didn't see didn't see somebody didn't see they didn't see what they were investing in it's too bad it's a lack of awareness it is really too bad that somebody didn't see what they were investing in and now there's no growth, there's no passion. So, and there's, there's no uh, success, but there's an opportunity, a golden opportunity that can lead to financial stability, okay? Or stability, whatever it is, this is a gift. Something you can hold on to, something you can take to the bank, but you have to grab onto it. It's right there. It's not in the hand yet. You know, it's right there. It's right in the palm of your hand. But somebody has to literally grab it. They have to grab it. They have to take that opportunity. And staying put, investing in this dead end with this individual that obviously doesn't love them is not logical and it's not practical. There's some sort of truth that is going to come out. This is the sword of truth. It is also the sword of power. So get prepared. Somebody is about to tell the truth. They're about to speak up. They are about to uh, communicate some sort of information. They may even be giving somebody a wake-up call.
three of cups reverse that's parting ways parting ways from a from friends or family or a relationship it's parting ways there's this is this celebration is over the party is over this is not happy this is not happy at all somebody is definitely not I just looked at the clock it's 444 all is well there's universal guidance here 444 is angel guidance universal guidance all is well this is about foundations so somebody maybe their foundation may be changing there's angel protection here as well or universal protection pay attention to the signs at this time because you're going to be getting some sort of signs Anyhow, um, breaking free with a devil reversed, breaking free from a toxic situation or things getting worse. Somebody has been held back by ego or fear or codependency. Materialism has been a problem. This is breaking free, breaking free from that. Going after happiness with the five of swords reversed. Just, just like, you know what, you win, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Somebody is has received or they're, they're about to give or, or get an offer that is solid, stable, real. Take it. Take it because this will help you. It will help you to... Uh, break free from whatever this is this is breaking free from some sort of toxic situation severing ties somebody is severing ties parting ways this is and there could be for some of you there could be a third party situation here it could also have something to do with children mother and a stepmother i don't feel like it's a, it could be a mother but it feels like it's a stepmother and children doesn't like the children somebody doesn't like the children or is or doesn't take care of the children doesn't love the children This is toxic. It is very toxic energy with this devil card. This is this is uh, extreme suffering. Somebody is, is has been suffering. They've been living in hell because of fear, because of ego. But anyway, I do believe that there is some sort of severing of ties, um, taking back control, taking back power, communicating the truth. Somebody is going to be communicating some sort of truth. And I feel like whoever is getting the truth is going to be very, very emotional because they don't want to accept the truth. You know, this person likes to live in fantasy. Hermit reversed. I feel like somebody's been lonely. They've been lonely. But they're, com they're, they're, they're ready. They're ready to connect with the world. They're ready to... Uh, socialize you know I feel like they've been trapped in a situation with an individual that hasn't been working out anyhow um, yeah there is some sort of severing ties there is severing ties with a toxic individual on the path to recovery taking a new opportunity that is solid, stable, and real after a lot of thought and getting the answers to the questions. Good luck.